Good. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to 7th Street Geeks. This is Retro Randy. And welcome to another sign Yay! of Holy shit. Retro Randy Rampage. People being fucking loud and annoying. But tonight is just one of those nights. I have a full list of fucking topics I'm going to go through. And I I'm going to say right now, there's a lot of shit that I've just seen in the last few days that just brought my piss to a fucking boil. And I don't know where to start with first. I'm going to start first off with what happened on Sunday. What are you doing? Are you sitting down and joining me or what? I can if you want me to. Uh, it's up to you. I don't care. Um, number one, we've all heard the story of the Pez parents. <coughs> uh, put, I'll put there in there. I'm sorry, but when you hear this stuff, it makes your piss go to a boil. That <coughs> Yeah. yeah, the Pez. Yeah. Pretty much, it, it what it is, is this, this stuff is just, it's horrible. You hear about this stuff, it's completely horrible. And you have these kids, you have these, okay, you have <coughs> kids who, they waited their whole week, you know, the whole week of school and other bullshit and helicopter parents and everything else, to go out and have fun and be kids to run around and go and get Easter eggs. Because Pet, the Pez company has put out, I believe, three fields worth of of just eggs for these kids. You know, when you're hearing stories in the news media of people, of kids being traumatized because adults are pushing them out of the way so that their kid can be number fucking one. I hate that shit. I really do. So do I. I'm, I mean, I, I'm sorry, I have an eight-year-old son who is autistic, but I will tell my son flat out, if someone's trying to take your age, you punch them in their fucking mouth. No matter if they're a child or they're an adult, punch them in the dick. I don't give a fuck. But there's no fucking reason, no fucking reason at all for anybody who's older than the age of 20. I don't care if you're a fucking teenager, you stay the fuck off the field. They had times for when little kids were supposed to go, when intermediate children were supposed to go, and they had times when, you know, up to 12. If you're over age of 12, you're done fucking Easter egg hunting. Unless you want to have the adult Easter egg hunting where we're finding chocolate alcohol, that's a whole different fucking story. <laughs> but if you're going to do this shit, don't sit there and go out and fucking run over children so that your kid can be A number one. Because I hate to tell you this, my kid is A number one over your fucking kid. Fuck you. My point is, I have a point, opinion on this. If uh, you're going to help your child, it's okay to say, hey, look over here, you need to find this, or look over there, you know. Uh, you know, but helping them look, but be respectful of others. That is the number one Thing. What is with Christian holidays and people almost getting trampled and killed during them? I mean, Jesus, we had a, we, we have we we literally will fucking kill we will hurt <laughs> men and kill each other over crappy TVs on Black Friday, and then we will fucking kick we will fucking run over our young so that our kid can be a number one. I mean, I remember when I was a kid and I caught a rabbit in the rabbit scramble, scramble and a kid was told by his parents to walk over and shove me the fuck out of way and take the rabbit out of my fucking hands. Wow. That fucking hurt, too. We never had a rabbit scramble. But yeah, they had children who were crying, who were traumatized, and then Pez was like, hey, we'll give away some free fucking Pez. No one wants your fucking free Pez. We want you to fucking give us some fucking money or something for this bullshit. I mean, because people, kids being traumatized, they're going to have to go see someone to get canceling. I mean, shit, that's going to cost money, too. Oh, yeah, it's going to hurt Pez, and you know what, I hate to say this, the only people who give a fuck about Pez, besides, <laughs> you know, little kids who they like, oh, I got the Iron Man Pez dispenser that they're going to, they're going to load it twice with Pez, and they're going to fucking throw the Pez dispenser away because no one gives a fuck. I and think the heads off. <laughs> or you have these people who literally collect Pez dispensers, and I find those people up there with furries and fucking 
the guys who play with train sets. I am collecting the Milo Pony ones. I don't want to hear it. I I I have had collected a few of the Pezzes before. Um, you collect the Lara. <laughs> I, I will not. I will say things. I have Star Wars Pez dispensers, so I have collected some of them. I'm not going this. Oh my gosh, it's a Pez. Oh my gosh, it's a Harrison Ford. I gotta get it. No, you're not I going have to have the fucking yeah. You're not going to Pez Con. Fuck, they had a fucking case on they had a case on Judge fucking Judy of a woman who ran PezCon because she was suing a guy because he was chrome dipping Pez dispensers for them to give away for Pez collectors at this PezCon and because they didn't look the right way as the guy who they usually used to do, but he died. So they got a brand new guy and because he, he didn't do it the same way the guy before him did it, she's going to fucking sue him on Judge Judy. What the fuck? And Seriously, geez. I just slapped my forehead for that. Oh my goodness! Really? Are we? Are we that? Are we that fucking? Are we that fucking misguided that you know it's fucking Pez? Like I'm sorry. Like I said, I could I consider Pez collectors like one one step below those those fucking tr the guys who have fucking train sets in their basement and they sit around and play with their train sets. The little fucking conductor hat on and go. Oh, the ten third the dining car is now closed. You know, I consider them I, one step below those guys. No, I can't say this much about the people playing the train sets. I mean, I, I really would love to have a train set. Now, I mean, you know, and all the little people in the village and, you know, railroads and stuff. That would be awesome. You know, but to sit there and say, oh, and talk out loud saying, that, oh, the dining clue, the car is closed, no, closed. No, that would be, that's just... That's taking it a little bit further. No, there's only one motherfucker who ever made that fucking cool. Raul Julia made that cool in the Adams family, okay? If your name is not Gomez fucking Adams, you're not cool. I don't care if you're fucking Patrick Stewart. I think it'd be funny to see Patrick Stewart going, The trip, the trip, the dining car is now closed. Engage, what one? That'd be funny as shit to see Patrick Stewart playing with a toy train set. That would be funny. It would be. That's Patrick Stewart talking about fucking dining cars, and if you look out your left, that shit is, that's gold. Morgan Freeman's another one. Um, James Earl <laughs> Jones. Um, Bill Clinton. I think Bill Clinton, Bill Clinton has one of the best fucking movies I'll tell you ever. another one that I'm sure you're going to say yes. What? Uh, uh, uh. You say Ted Cruz almost smacked you. No, Williams. Yes, Billy D. Williams. Yes. That's yes, I, I think Billy Williams would be great with the, to the, toy, the toy cars to be like, he be just flat out saying, Hey people, the Donnie car is now serving Colt 45. Ian McKellen <laughs> is Gandalf only to be disturbed by Magneto. Exactly. <laughs> um, but no, um, I personally, you know, if you, I saw one person who had, um, they will cut little holes where they had train tracks going around in the room. And the train was going That's around. fucking excessive. It's excessive, but I think, personally, I think it's kind of cool, but it's excessive. But, I mean, kind of like the clever girl has the one that goes around, you that, know. That, that works for their business. That, yeah, that, that's so part of their fucking business. So you don't yeah. have that in your fucking house. Like, that's like me saying, like, <clears throat> I'm going to have model airplanes flying the fuck around here. I'm not going to fucking have that well, shit. Well, some people have done that, too. Are uh, you going to get mad at me if I get into model airplanes? <laughs> no! No, it's not about people getting into a model airplane. It's about taking them and they, they, and actually, you know, hanging them up where they're flying. Like, I don't know, attach them to the uh, ceiling, you know. And then, you know, I have a room to my own. We you know, know you do. But, you know, no, we, mostly we're talking about trains and... and yeah, and I know. All that. But, I know somebody who does that. So. But, yeah. But there, there was a business, though, another business that does that has a little train in their in their business, which I thought was awesome. It's an, it's I don't know if it still exists. Um, it was in it was in Indy somewhere or one of the suburbs. I believe it was in Avon, uh, or Plainfield, and it was a pizza place. And whenever you ordered like uh, your food, like let's say you ordered a sandwich and a drink. The oh, fuck little, those places. The, the little place train fucking would dumb. come and it stopped. I, I went there once. That it. place was stupid. I loved it. What the fuck is wrong with you? Really? I just thought it was awesome. I really, really thought it was... It, it's different. It I like going down to bike up to Camp Atterbury and riding the rideable 
model train. See, that's fine. Okay, that's fine. Same yeah. with same with fucking um, Deming Park. The rideable trains. That shit's cool. Like yeah. your kid, you ever, that shit is cool. Have you ever gone to Hatterberry to do that? Yes, I have. That is because that's the ever. train from old in uh, not tra not old Indiana, but um. Why don't we think Anthony needs to do that? Uh, yeah, old Indiana doesn't exist anymore. But old Indiana doesn't exist because a, a model train set collapsed and killed it or not paralyzed the girl. The last time I was up there, it was still running. Well. I know that they were, camp camp camp. they were talking about taking de uh, the one out of Deming Park but several times. But um, let's, let's just move on. I'm, I'm moving away from the Pez dispenser bullshit because we'll, we'll keep talking yeah, about toy yeah. trains and shit like that all night and I have shit down. Uh, so I've already, I, I, as a lot of people know who listen to the show, know I fucking don't deal with social justice warriors and other bullshit. So. Again, this is horseshit, and, I, and I'm sorry, I hate political correctness, I hate social justice warriors, I cannot stand extreme feminism when you have no, when you have no fucking point, you're just being a feminist to just scream and scream man-hater for no fucking reason. When I ever say, about, talk about feminism, I always try to have a point. Aunt Nika, Anita, Anita Sarkeesian, and Zoe Quinn have no fucking points. I'm sorry when you fucking when you sit there say, "Oh, the video games are too fucking violent." You show a picture of you all your video games, and you own every fucking Call of Duty. Shut the fuck up. I, I, I don't get that. I mean, as I said, I love. I've said this before. I actually like Call of Duty. I'm not very good at it, but hey, that's not necessarily but because I'm a female. It's here, because of here, my emotions. here is the here is the story that but, came up. Well, I was going to say I do know people who are female and are pretty good at Call of Duty. We can do this some so other time, but anyway. here's the story: black student who attacked white student for his dreadlocks is under investigation. Basically, what happened? <laughs> is a African American girl, woman who goes to San Francisco State University. Her name is Bonita Tyndall, and she's an intern for the Campus Campus Windows Center and, and student as part of the student government. A young man who named by name Corey Goldstein. So already you're hitting the white student and the Jew. So let's just be honest here. Corey has dreadlocks in his hair. He's a DJ. Honest to God, it fits the thing. And you're in Stanford fucking Cisco. So where's the fucking problem? Oh, because he's a white guy with fucking dreadlocks. And so you're going to scream saying that he's raping your culture and other bullshit. No, he's fucking not, you dumb bitch. He is not fucking raping your culture. And you're fucking screaming at him. And you're threatening to cut the man's hair off. You're threatening to cut his hair off because he is taking from the black culture. What would he fucking do? I know plenty of fucking dudes who are white and claim to be Rastafarians. You know, you're white as fucking snow. Hell, there was a white rapper who fucking rapped in Rastafarian lyrics. His name was Snow, by the way, which was kind of funny. <laughs> if I'm running a stuff to the man, bing boom boom, yeah. But anyway. But this guy, she sits there and grabs him and threatens to kind of, okay, I'm sorry. But this bitch needs to be expelled. You do not sit there and make threats. I'm sorry, this is supposed to be safe space and oh my god, we can't do this. Why is it fair to these race-baiting fucking progressive libtards that it's all fair to... We must denounce the white people because the white people are evil, but that means the African Americans can be dicks to the white students, but the white students can't be like, you're being dicks. No, no, then you're racist. I know. I mean... Uh, my personal thought, I don't know this kid very well. This, but, you don't even know this motherfucker! But the point is, there is, there could be a very good reason why. I mean, it could be not just because of his rapper. It could be the fact that I've seen... Okay, like I said, um, I have seen a family, a, a black man with a white woman. And they had kids. A couple of their kids were white. Pure, white, and simple. But yet, she still puts Hi. her white daughter and her black daughter in the same dreadlock braids together. Because they were cl close in age. Okay, what cat is underneath there? 
Oh, oh, they're in the that's in the box. Yeah, they're in the litter. Possum's in the shit box. No, there's a cat underneath uh, there. Well, well, it doesn't. They'll come out. Yeah. So he could have a black father, and was raised in that culture. I, I will tell you this right now: how bad this is getting. Okay, how bad this is? How bad's getting for this girl? The kid turned said that he didn't feel like he was in danger or something like that. He wrote it on his Facebook post. When the kid who sings Chocolate Rain, and you don't know what the hell I'm talking about when I say Chocolate Rain, do you? Um, I don't remember. I think you showed me, but I, I can't it, remember. It's one of those early that. YouTube moments. Uh, Tay's an name. He gets on YouTube and Terrell says, you know, this is his comment, and I'll pull it up here. I think I uh, This is it. very disappointing. The girl besides assaulted the young man who, ex who excused... Profound intellectual poverty is like Toni Morrison mixed chromosomes with Donald Trump advocating W.E.B. Du Bois position. No. I'm so. Terra Ocean. Oh no, this was in San Francisco. No, W.E. Du Bois. Oh yeah. <laughs> gotta love Terra Haute. We gotta remember, this is Indiana. We we or we're just we're born for crazy people. Do I need to make the list? You know, Michael Jackson, the Reverend Jim Jones, Jeffrey Dahmer, Axl Rose. I didn't realize Jeffrey Dahmer was from Indiana. And Jeffrey Dahmer was born here, he moved out here. Uh, Mick Foley, the wrestler, because you, you've you got me fucking crazy if you're willing to be thrown off a cage and through a cage. Oh, and onto thumbtacks. Oh, and set on fire and have shit explode on you and shit like that. And play with barbed wire. you got me fucking crazy. <laughs> I mean, I know uh, there was another one who, was, like we mentioned before, we was born here and moved out. But, and he's a... Oh, the most, one of the most evil motherfuckers in TV, uh, one of the most evil TV villains of all time was born in fucking India. <coughs> Ken Kirchhoff, who plays, uh, fucking, shit, what is his name? Ah, uh, fuck. I was thinking more of Steve. Cliff Burton. Barnes in fucking Dallas. But yeah, yeah, because he, he was, uh, but, actually, he doesn't he have a home in Clinton now? Yeah, something like that. But okay, uh, the university, the, the, the university, Charles says, this is the university statement on this whole thing. The university says in a statement that <laughs> where it provo promotes the rights of campus, the right of campus community to engage in free speech, it does not condone behavior that impedes safety of well being of others. So they're investigating this thing. I will tell you exactly what's going to happen in this. She is going to be pulled aside and told, don't do it again. But the moment a white student does this to her, or to another African American, bam, which it's expelled and other shit. Personally, she should be expelled. She's not even, she, 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 should, she should be fixed. I mean, at least suspended for that point. You know, suspension at least because it's not fair. Not fair at all. And I'm all about equal rights for both men, women, black, white, Indian, Native Mexican, American. Yeah. whatever. Yeah. You know? Hindu, Native American. I don't care what fucking color you are. You have equal rights in this country. These idiots on these colleges fucking campuses who are like, well, we want a safe space for African American students, and we want a safe space only for women, and we want this safe space only for Hindus, and this space for Muslims. Okay. Where's the what? We should also no, have... No, no, no. Let me finish this real quick. Congratulations. You are now fucking shitting on Dr. Martin Luther King's dream because his fucking words, you dumb motherfuckers are, is I have a dream that one day my children will drink from the, will be not by the judge, by the color of the skin, by, by the content of their character. By content of their fucking character. That's how people should be judged. Not by your fucking skin color, but by the content of your character. If you are if you are an African American and you're slinging drugs, you are a piece of shit in my view. Not because you're black, because you're fucking using drugs or you're selling drugs. If you're a black dude and you're making millions of dollars because you're successful in business, cool. If you're a black dude who's working every day to provide your family, cool. If you're a Hindu dude who's driving a cab and you're trying to make it for your family, awesome sauce. But if you were out there trying to be a fucking degenerate piece of shit, trying to fucking rob society for it is, 
Fuck you! You need to go the fuck away! Like a black man who's like, oh, well, I'm on welfare, but yet you can very well work. You're just There's people... That, that, that shit needs to be fixed. This shit right here just pisses me off to no avail that, you know... This will get covered by news. I, I know the Young Turks will cover it, and the Young Turks will very much say this right here. They might erase me. No, they'll they'll say they'll say you know. She's gonna sit. They're, they're gonna say, oh well, she it's fine, and this that the other, and you know, Anna's gonna say something stupid, and Chink's gonna bring up how white people need to bow down to them. Fuck them. I'm. I'm the real reason I watch the Young Turks is because I am a moderate Republican. Okay, I'm a moderate Republican. I have no problem with gay rights and stuff like that. I cannot accept the Democratic Party for shit they have done in the past. I cannot accept the party where you, your founder is the first one to tell the Cherokees, get the fuck off your land. I don't care what the fucking Supreme Court says, get the fuck off your land or I'm going to kill you all. I cannot accept years of slavery and the people who succeeded were Democrats. So, every time people go through and go, oh, the Republican Party's fucking evil. They want, they're all rich and so that. That moniker has been around since the 18 fucking 80s, okay? But again, this is the party of Lincoln who saved the fucking Union, who kept us together when we were fucking splintering the fuck apart. <coughs> And, you know, everybody wants to say, oh, there's never been a great Republican president. Uh, Teddy Roosevelt. Uh, Calvin Coolidge. I am Lincoln. Lincoln, who was who's one of the party founders. <coughs> Reagan, if you want to go through some of the things Reagan did right, there's a lot of things Reagan did wrong, but, you know, we're not going to go there. Nixon, the, the only real two black marks Republicans fucking have is fucking Hoover and Nixon. Hoover and fucking Nixon. Or should I be a push? <laughs> uh, I can say I can go rounds about Bush. There's a lot of good things Bush did, and there's a lot of shitty things. There's a lot of good things Bush did, and a lot of shitty things. People never talk about the Medicare Modernization Act. I'm sorry, but when you have when you have Medicare and you're allowed one goddamn physical, because that's it, the government will give you one fucking physical. You cannot have anything else. You can't have a good dental plan. So yeah, Bush signed the Medicare Modernization Act where you can take your Medicare and add private fucking insurance to it to give you better fucking coverage. I'm sorry. I will take better fucking coverage over, hey, you're 65. Let's give you that one prostate exam. Let's check everything out about you. Oh, you're fucking done. Now we're going to charge you $150 fucking dollars for, your fucking pro for your fucking exams and everything like that. Fuck you. No, fuck that. We do not need this shit. That's one thing Bush did. I'm sorry. We may there may have not been weapons of mass destruction in, in Iraq, but I, I have this theory that they they were in the area because how the fuck did Syria get mustard gas and get all that chemical weapons? Did they not go to Iraq and go, hey, can we borrow a cup of fucking weapons of mass destruction? Can we not borrow a cup of fucking nerve gas? Because I'm sorry, how the fuck do you gas your own people when you don't have it? And without us going through and telling, get, kicking Saddam the fuck out, Gaddafi and Egypt and other places would have been fine. But we wouldn't have had the problems of fucking ISIS. So it's a, it's a double-edged sword, motherfuckers. Take what you can. So basically, you're t there's two presidents who are 50-50. So basically, you could say. The other yeah. one you said uh, was Reagan. Reagan. Yes. Reagan, Reagan, Reagan was great at communicating the people. Right. Reagan, Reagan was good at bullshitting his way through. What Reagan, what Reagan, what Reagan's mostly going to be known for is being that last president who finally pushed us to the end of the Cold War. And how did we win the Cold War? By free trade, McDonald's, Levi jeans, and shit like that. Oh, and also bullshit the Soviets that we have space age weaponry. <laughs> yeah. That we have space lasers that'll shoot down their fucking rockets. No, we. That's not how. That's what happened. So. Yeah, again, as I as I say, a fifty-fifty president. But again, I can't stand for the shit. I can't stand for the race baiting and race intolerance. I mean, uh, the fact there, there's also been some Democratic presidents. That's also what I call fifty-fifty. Clinton's one of them. Yeah, oh, and also, I hate, to tell, I hate to tell all you people this when you kept saying, "Oh, well, 
Well, Clinton did all things awesome. Then why did Clinton attack Iraq 19 times? For the same fucking thing Bush wanted to destroy the fucking country for. Yeah. But moving on past politics, well, we, I, I do have one last thing of politics to talk about. I don't get this whole video of the Trump, the Trump campaign chairman or his his number one guy is helping run the campaign, who is who who is doing the one thing that no campaign manager on the planet would let them do, would let him do. This guy's just letting Trump be Trump. Any other campaign manager who's ran a successful presidential campaign would told Trump to shut the fuck up and just keep the talking points. No, Trump just, this guy lets Trump be Trump, and that's why Trump is winning. So, what happened was, is, apparently he grabbed a reporter by the arm and pushed her out of the way, and now this guy's getting charged with battery in Florida. Okay, you're being, he's being charged with battery. I mean, did he push him, push her out of the, grab she, push her out of the way for the, for Trump to go through? It's to, it's to get her the fuck away because she was asking questions. Now there there's the there's the reports of people saying they're gonna take away press credentials and shit like that. We do have freedom of the press in this country. The only people who really don't have freedom of the press are the fucking paparazzi because those people just need to suck and stop. I'm sorry if you're going to sit back if you're gonna sit back with a telephone lens and wait for fucking Selena Gomez to go out and sunbathe the sunbathe in her backyard naked, then you got a fucking problem. Yeah, that that's invasion of privacy. But and that's definitely not freedom of the press. That is d invasion of privacy. Well, let's go. Let's go. Let's let's take a step back to Hulk Hogan for a second. That was invasion of privacy as well. No. They, well, yes. According according to the jury, by Gawker releasing the sex tape, they invited nice. his privacy because it was behind closed doors. Yes. If Hulk Hogan would have took her out like the uh, stampede or stampede threesome that happened this year. Yeah. If he was saying it in public. No, no, no. If he did it in public, if he had sex with her in public, then that's all well and good. It's yes. Third video. Three minutes. Three minutes. Okay. When when it's in public, it's free. Fucking game. Okay, Randy, your food's in the microwave along with yours, Jess. Okay. okay. Um. Free game. Yeah, you're free fucking Behind game. closed doors, it's private. Yep. It's private. But, 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 here, but here's the other thing. It's, it's again, like the double-edged sword. Why don't we look back to Donald Sterling? Donald Sterling said shit just as equally bad as Hulk Hogan, and Donald Sterling lost his NBA team because of it. Yours is in glass. I know. Yours is in purple. Yeah. Okay. Donald Sterling... Told his mistress, or what the hell you want to call that weird Asian-looking tramp. But he, Trump said, I don't want you to associate with black guys. I don't want them at my basketball games. The NBA removes him, caught, tells him he can't own a fucking team. But yet Hulk Hogan says all sorts of racist shit. And a bury gives him $25 million on top of what he wants. I mean, Again, yeah, I mean, I mean, if it was private, again, as I said... That shit shouldn't have happened. He shouldn't have got <coughs> anything wrong. If it was in, like, okay, we're in here. We're in my, we're in a house. But everything we're saying but is we're live not, on the internet. But we are on air. So therefore it is not private. We are on air. Therefore it's a different, but if we weren't on air and just sh sh bullshitting around, you know, no, nobody, just private. Then, you know, yeah, it's private. Nobody needs to. Yeah. We, we shouldn't get have any issues, but you know, yes, yeah, since we are on air, it's a different story. It's public. It's free to game, free game. Um, but again, you have these people who do this shit, and again, I don't agree that Hogan should have got that much money. But all this leads back to is. Freedom of the press. Yes, I'm sorry. The political rallies for Trump. I believe there was a law signed under Obama that you cannot protest while the Secret Service is nearby. Okay? Okay. So, why is it fair that Bernie... Bernie and I hate to take out Bernie Sanders supporters because I, I I support Bernie Sanders, but I, I, I'm, I'm at a crossroads with my vote for him or not. 
Why is it fair to him? Why is it? Why is it? Why is it? Why is it? Oh, Trump is so fucking evil because he has the Secret Service remove Bernie protesters because.